Okay, old people. I'm kidding. I'm old. Anyway, somebody had asked me in a group uh, where I had made a post of how do you add pictures to a post split screen because I had a post that had two different pictures in it. And I understand some of us just haven't learned the skills. So I'm going to give you a very short little uh, tutorial on how to do this so you can uh, make your post look a bit better. How's that? So let's go. I'm going to share my screen and show you what I use and how I do it. And it'll be very basic, but it will give you an idea about what can be done and actually how easy it, it is to do this. So let's start. I use my PC, my laptop. I don't do this from a mobile device, but you need to go to whatever browser you are using. I use Chrome and you want to go up here, see my little cursor and the slash blink, 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 and go to Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Uh, if I do this, I, mine is already set up, so it's going, going to go there automatically. So you can do it this way. Now, mine goes directly to the Canva account. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, no. What did I do? I closed the whole thing up. Let's go back. Move this out of my way. That was a problem. All right, let's try it this way. I don't want you to see how to get there from that. Let's go over here to Canva. So your first time using this, it'll do a search and it'll go to the, the Canva official site, canva.com. This is free. There is a paid version that is much more powerful, but all you need to make your little picture posts is the free account. So go to Canva, click on that. <coughs> uh, get rid of that screen. And it will go here. It'll say design for everyone. You can log in or sign up. I've already got an account. So when I log in, it's going to go. I do believe that when you sign up, let's just see. It may give you the options. Now, mine took me directly into my account, which is okay. But anyway, go to log in or sign up, and it will probably allow you to sign in with your Facebook account. Just click yes and go get in here. Uh, or you can go ahead and set up an account with an email and password, whichever way you want to do it. So anyway, this is the home screen on Canva. When you get in here, no matter what you want to do, and this Again, this is very, very powerful, even for a free uh, app to use online. But you can make anything. So right here in the search bar, if you type in Facebook, it's going to give you the options of what you want to make with Facebook. You want to make a shop's logo, a Facebook post, an ad. Right now, we just want to make a Facebook post. When you click on this, it's going to give you, come on, a bunch of options. Some of these are pre-made. And when you hover over them, you can see this says paid. This says pro, which is paid also. Here's a free one. This is a template that you can start with. But in the case of you just taking two pictures, combining into one post, all you need to do is go right here where it says create a blank Facebook post. Click on that. It's going to give you a blank template right here. On the sidebar to your left, it's got options of tools that you can use within Canva. Right now we're on the template. This is blank. You want to use your own pictures. So what you want to do is go to this button right here of uploads. Where it says upload media, click on that. And you can upload pictures or short videos 
or GIFs, whichever you want to upload. <clears throat> in this case, we're going to make a split screen picture post. So let's take, as you see right here, I've got a picture that is uh, taller than it is wide. And I've got one here that's wider than it is tall. I'm not gonna get into all the picture sizing, but this was taken off a of phone or camera in the vertical position. These days it would be your phone, which is standing upright vertical. This picture would have been taken with the phone sideways, horizontal. You can use both pictures. So what we wanna do is this little box, just click that and highlight it blue. If you wanna do multiple at the same time, hold down the control key on your computer. It's the lower left-hand corner control and click the second one, let go and then hit open. It's going to take from your computer and upload to Canva your two pictures. They're right here. Now they're uploaded. All you need to do now is click on that one and it drops onto your canvas, onto your template. You can click on this one and it will go into the template also. This will be a little confusing for you. Okay, well, I'll, I'll make it easy. Let's go to this one and you grab this little corner right here with the cursor, you can shrink that down to any size that you want and move it up. Go to this one and highlight it, grab the corners, shrink it down and make it the same size. Let's do, let's get rid of this one. Go up here to the upper right hand corner, trash can, delete, take that picture off. I'm gonna use the same picture twice because they're both in the same style. They're both the same size. So I'm gonna stretch this one out and then you can slide it over. But once the picture is in, when you grab it by the sides and slide it, you see it'll start taking the picture off. So this is where you can play around a little bit. Let's just shorten that up a little and move this over. And what I'm doing when I move that is I'm holding the left button down on the mouse. Hold it down and grab it and you can move this. See the little crosshair arrows? The pink outline box is showing if you wanna keep within the parameters with an outside border. You don't have to do that. You can put the same where you want. Take this one, stretch it out to the same size as that. And you're gonna notice that of course now this side is hanging over the edge. So I'm gonna take the side of this one and move it over just like the other picture is and move this one over a little bit and slide this over. You don't have to have borders. I mean, you can leave it right against the sides all you want, just like that and leave a little gap in the middle. However you wanna do this, you can play around with it. So that's how you put two pictures on one post. You're saying, well, what about the white in the background? Well, this would show up with only two pictures and a big white background. Come over here to the left in the tools and you can go down here to backgrounds. You can use colors or you can use anything they've got in here. Let's make this easy and just say, see the little color palette here and all the colors across. Let's just click right here on the black. Now I've got a black background. I'm gonna make an edge on both sides just to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna put that just like that. <clears throat> then, now you've got your two pictures on one post. You can add as many as you want. You can make this into a small collage, however you wanna do it. Your mind, is limitless on here to become an artist and put your thoughts onto a digital canvas. Let's say you want to add some text right here to the toolbar. See it highlighting the T text? Click on that and it's gonna give you a large font for like a, a bold heading, a subtitle, subheading, and then the small little body of text. Let's go with the bold. And it's gonna show up right here. I'm gonna type in me in 1978. 
you see it's black. Now, if I move this, grab this little crosshair here, you can't see it black on black. So take your cursor, see it in the middle on next to the M. I'm going to highlight this, hold down my left key and drag across and highlight it. Go right up here to the color palette, it says text color. And from here, you can pick these colors. It's already pre-made, or you can go to the color palette and make any color that you want, just like that, okay? And when you click outside the box, it stays here. You can stretch this out, make it a little bit bigger. As you see up here, it's got 82.6. That's the size of the font. You can plus and make that bigger or smaller. Place that anywhere that you want. And you can turn this. You can size it. You can do all kinds of things. Maybe you want to put a little subheading down here. When I had my Honda 550 in California, I'll in the Navy. Now again, you can't read that against those pictures, but if I slide that down here to the black, you can see it just fine. Maybe that's all you want to do. Simple and easy. I, I know that you saw my other picture that I had posted. Let's just turn that out of the way where I had a uh, bar across the middle. This is one way of doing that where you got a bar. But you can also go here where it says elements and you can say bar. And it has these bars. Let's take this free one, put it here and let's color this. Here's the color for that, it's black right now. I'm gonna make this the same green and it will take, it'll pick up the colors you're using in your text and put it here for you. I'm gonna Click that, now my bar is green. I can turn this up and down. I can grab it here and stretch it out. Take it past so you don't want rounded corners. Or maybe down here, just leave it right where it's at and then center it right about there. And that's how you get the bars in between. This, this free little tool, Canva, is awesome, awesome for not only beginners, but for graphic designers. My best friend and business partner is a professional graphic designer. He uses the paid version of this and makes some wild looking graphics. So it can be done. But for the purpose of this, just to get a picture post up and going, that is how you do it. I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you need any, any tips, tricks, go to my YouTube channel, Brady Theodore. Uh, go to my website, bradytheodore.com, or just reach out to me when you see me uh, post somewhere. I'm here. I will answer any question that I have the answer to for you to help you out to learn some, some skills to get moving online. Anyway, guys. I hope that helped you out. Uh, you know what? I made this for a particular person. Uh, and I forgot his name. I'm going to quit sharing my screen for a moment. I'm going to look in here. I'm going to go to my Facebook account. I'm going to go to... I know you can't see what I'm doing, but that's okay. Come on. Come on, Facebook. Work for me. Open up. There you go. Let's scroll down here. Looking, make sure comment. There you go. His name, just so you know, it was Jerry. Jerry, thank you for the question. <coughs> Here's your answer. Excuse me. I hope that helps you out. Hey, if you need any help at all in this digital world, give me a holler. I'm here to help. Talk to you all soon.